Shoot. And the reason why you let a tie with these things, says the Morgan Avram, Sif Khatin, Yud Beis. Oh, let's pick it out here, but the reason is, is because these things you're not going to leave there. Is these type of strings and the belt, that's something you usually use to tie a bucket. So therefore, we're not chayshish, that you're going to leave it there and it will not be a kashish al-chayam. Something that you tie and it's a chashash, you may leave it to these next few sifin. Basically, I'm going to talk about things that, when you put it there, do you usually leave it there or not? The Mr. brings it down. Mr. Brings, brings it down, yeah. Some, days. Someone brings it down, yeah. <coughs> But when he has his intention to, uh, to, to do the un, uh, the not undo it, it's the same it thing. It doesn't, it doesn't ma is it also applied to to a of Yeah. The same thing. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if can have Zayin, which Ruh says it. V'shichay ba'avnei tuhu chashe ve'enim avat le'sham ve'av kesha she'en le'shal kayom. So the reason why a Mashiach and Avmeid, you're not going to leave it there. So therefore, it's automatically considered a kasher she'enek shachayam. It's any time. So you repeat it again then. Yeah, it's, 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 it'll come right. a few times. So the kasher b'enek shachayam, yeah. it's not going to leave it there. That's the whole story. That's the whole, that's what you see for it. As far as it is, if something you leave there, you're not going to leave it there if you tie it. And it's something you're going to take away, you do not want to leave it there. So there's a heter to tie it on Shabbat. We're not chayshish, that it'll be a kasher shachayam. Avol loy bechevel, but not by the chevel. Chevel is a string, because a chevel you it's will be mevatel there. You will leave it there for a long leave time. It, yeah. Says the Morgan Avram, to leave the Meshicha or Pasha to Mayri she ain't no Maisa Umin. It has to be a lot of tired, but it can't be a Maisa Umin. Now we know we saw in Sif Aleph that a Maisa Umin a double knot is a way maybe considered a Maisa Umin. So you have to tie it in a way where you'll not make a double knot. So you look here at the Lubusha Shrod, he writes, in the Lubusha Shrod, Sif Khan Yud Bey, it says, Bahaga Sif Aleph, Haga Achroina, the Nehagin Karambam, the Umin, the Enish al Kayam of Patr Avalasa. That we hold, Umin, the Enish al Kayama, it is Patr Avalasa, even though it's not Rashi's Mahalath. But we go to Khumra, like the Rambam we spoke out, that there are more in a few places, comes out the Khumra. Even though we pass it like Rashi, the Khumra, we'll also go to Rambam, the Khumra. And we go to Rashi, the Khumra, the Rashi Shita is. A kesher that's not a ma'aseh umin, it's still part of it's still part of a lesson. But we go with the Rambam also that if it's a umin, even though it's any shachayama, it's part of a lesson. Here's another time we see we go with that chumra. Rafa Pikein says the Morgan Avram Vaiter Gazrina the Gardi Atu the Alma the Mesinu Harbe Chiyetu by the Gemara can they relate? But the Morgan Avram means to say over here is is that. A gardi, we see later on, a chevos al gardi is the string that's used for weaving, the weavers use. Now that string, you will not use a tire bucket. It's not meant for it. And it should really be like a mashikh or an avmate, that you're not a there, so it should be a kesha and a shakayama, and it should be mutter. 
We'll see later on. With Gezer, Chevel, Shalgardi, Otu Chevel, the Alma. Chevel Shalgardi, something you not know about them. We make a Gezer because it looks like it's similar to a regular string. And with Chayshish, she may end up using a regular string. It's a Gezer, even though usually you do not use it for that. Chevel, Chevel, they're both Chavolim, therefore we acid it. That's why we acid it. So here it comes out, Gezer, the Gezer. Because the whole, what's a Shash? You're going to leave it there. Right? It's, a mice, it's not a mice woman. You may end up leaving it there. But that's only Isidur <coughs> Abonah. Says the Mah, still, says the Mogam from, still, by Chevel, we're going to ask for it, even though it's a Chevel Shalgardi, because of Xero to Xero, and sometimes we make Xero to Xero. Says the Mah, the Mahavi Vaitim, Hanim Lili. Let's see the Mogam from Yedgimel, sorry. The Chevel, the Mavatu Le Hosom. These are all the glees that are meant to stay, the buckets that are meant to stay in the bar, in the well. But our buckets, we don't leave them there. You go, I guess, I mean, today it's on the gay, really, but. In, those, in the times of the, in times of the Mechaber, it says that those Delim, they didn't leave them there. Everybody would come with their bucket, fill, draw water, and leave with their bucket. So if the Delim... There's no one that stays. Yeah, not one that stays. So only the one that stays, you have to be Cheshish with a Hevel, you'll tie it, and you'll leave it there for a long time. But if the Delim, you're not going to leave there, you're not going to leave the bucket there anyway, so we're not going to make Hesh Shachayama. Yeah. So basically, either the string you're not going to leave there, or the bucket you're not going to leave there, either one doesn't make a difference. It's motive because there's no Shash of that you're going to leave it there for a long time. We do have a little bit these days. You know, here in Shul, when you have the washing cups, they tie into the sink. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, and Hanami, you're right. Yeah. Those washing cups, those are, uh, you, you shouldn't be able to tie them on Shabbos. Yeah. It's meant for a long time. Yeah, those washing cups, if they get untied on Shabbos, should, you're not allowed to tie them, tie them back on Shabbos, even if it's a, a Malachesh Shachal Yom, even if it's not a Mice Umen, even a single knot. You're not allowed to tie it again, on a Chlami, because it's meant to stay for a long time. Hanimil would leave that Kvum Ebor, I would leave Shalonosh Enem Kvum Ebor, Enoi Kesha Shachal Yom, is not considered a Kesha Shachal Yom, our bucket, the Mechaber is saying, we don't leave it there for a long time, Therefore, it's not a kesher shachayam and it's mutter. Says the Morgan of Rami, "Ain't a kesher. She ain't osu lamoy sham zman miru." What's the Morgan of Rami saying over here? It's a very important Morgan of Rami, and he says that the reason why it's not a kesher shachayam because you're not leaving it there for zman miru. What is zman miru? What's zman miru? We had see for Alpha Machlokes, right? When does it become? A kesh shachayama. We had them in the remote there. If it's like him, yeah, I'm a yeah. No, no, one or seven days. One or seven days. Seven one seven or days, seven yeah. days. If you look, if you look in the in the remote, see if I look. The yes, I mean, she called kesh she ain't the also lahati, but I say yoim atzmoi mikri shachayama. Lost in the remote. In see if I look, who is that? The cowboy. The yes, makhili and loy mar the ad shiva yamim. Until seven days, it's not called Shachayama. We learned to see then, we'll say, we'll see later on how we pass in. Yeah, if it's seven days or the same seven day. Seven days or, or one day. day so yeah. the, the remote brings down both cheetahs. He says, the cowboy says, within 24 hours is okay. After 24 hours, is already called Shachayama. And the second cheetah, the Mordechai holds <coughs> that seven days is what we call Shekha, it's not called Eide Shachayama, it's still called Eide Shachayama for seven days. So the Mogad Mo- Mo- Avram says over here, She'ein asu lama sham zman merubo, it's mashma from the Mogad Avram, zman merubo. It doesn't say <coughs> more than 24 hours. So it's mashma the Mogad Avram has been makal over here, and is learning like the Mordechai. <coughs> that seven days is already called, till, till seven days is still called a kesher she'en eishel kayam. If you look in the Be'er Lacha... How do we know that? I mean, like, Zman Merubah, we're saying, means seven days now? <coughs> Zman Merubah is not, is not one day, for sure. 
maybe 30. No, no, so we have, we have a choice that's 1 and 7, so Zman Merubah must mean 7. We're not going to make up a new amount now because the Morgan of Rome says Zman Merubah. So let's see the Be'er Lach over here. The Be'er Lach, the Be'er Maskos, Enon Kavuim. Why didn't he say 7? Good question. Yeah. It's been so much clear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it takes off 10 minutes of the shear. <laughs> 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 it says the Be'er Lach, Ein Mogad Avram, Shehetek Veshem Ateis Veshem Ateis Veshem Ateis Veshem Zman Merubah. Behine, says the Mogad, says the Be'er Lach. Mashmah Lefizeh Del Das HaKol Boy, Shehubu Le'el B'Sif Aleph Ba'Ago, Ve'yoisi Mi'yem Echod, Mikri Shal Chayomo, Ksas, Ve'osal Lechad Chila, Right? According to the cowboy who holds that what's called Enish Lechayama only 24 hours. So here also, if it's not more than if it's more than 24 hours, it'll be Asr. But we'll come back on, says the Be'alacha. The Maisa Ein Lachmir Bezeh. You don't have to be Lachmir like the like the cowboy. Which one? Do you have to say Kfum? It's an Amit Beis. Okay, sorry. Sheinam Kfum. Yeah. The Kamakam says the Ma'is Ein Hachmer Bezeh the Loshen Zeh Hutek Gam Bahaber Yishayim Pei Merajba Varan Varedva Varav Magid the Kulam Aschimu Bezeh Umizeh Saad Godol It's a big Saad, a big. Relief? Uh, no, no. Saad is a uh, no uh, support. Support, yeah. So big support the hokel the mokam at tzayrich that fillu yaisi miyem echad the mikri shel chayyam a klal adayin says to be alacha from here is a big sad the big support for that to be mekel the mokam at tzayrich even more than one day the mokam at tzayrich up to seven days only the mokam at tzayrich so it's not so simple you can be mekel for one day the ma'aser. Today, we all, the person go with 24 hours. Anything in your tie for more than 24 hours automatically is called Shel Chayama. But, there's certain times we'll be Mekel for seven days. And we'll see in the next Sif exactly when we'll Mekel for seven days. But, there are clouds, one, it's 24 hours. The Bokham Atzerich, you can be Mekel. There are some person that are Mekel, if you have to do like the Nachri, it's Mutter. It's not just the time. Don't forget, it's the untying also. The shadows come up more with untying. Something that was tied, and it was tied four or five days ago, and now I want to untie it on shadows. It's a common mistake that people make. The untying is also a problem. A catcher that was there for more than 24 hours has the same issue to untie it as tying it. So something that was tied before shadows, and it was meant for more than 24 hours, someone went ahead and they tied a, I don't know, a bag of food shot. With a knot. With a single knot. With a single knot. Even a, even, even, we'll see, even a, even a bow. Even a, what's it called again? Um, uh, a, bow on yeah, a, a, bow. a bow on a kesha. A needle grab a kesha. We'll see the next thief. Even a bow on top of a kesha, right? You look at once and then you make a bow on top. Yeah. That, that's something within 24 hours is mutter. More than 24 hours is also to open up. It, 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 it becomes a it. Kesha should come after 24 hours or no? Yeah, yeah, after 24 yeah. hours it's a, it's a shayla. So we're talking about shayla should be mekel. There's a very common problem when people close a packaging for foods. Right. Yeah, that's why a lot of people when they, when they package a food, they won't loop it, will loop it once and then make a bow. There's a way of doing it, you just make one bow, yeah. a single bow and then open it up, that's more we'll see in the next seat. Uh, all the time, yeah. Okay, so near Shabbos. Yeah. But if you take the two ends and you make one knot, no, take it and make one knot. That really is a shadow. It's called a one knot or not. One knot may not be called a. No. Because that holds. Like I, I'm lost. I, I don't know how. You, 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 you make a loop. One, one loop, right? Yeah. You take a bag, yeah, uh, Sobey's bag, yeah. a plastic bag, and you just tie it. So that, so that's a shadow. Muffins inside. So that's a shadow. It could be that just one loop is, doesn't hold. It opens up by itself. That's okay. Let's, let's see the next thief and we'll get back to the shadow. Okay. Let's see the next thief and then we'll get back to this question. You don't always know when it was originally tied, though. Right. So and I mean, somebody else might have tied and it. And I mean, let's be careful. 
Let's, let's see the next Sif, and then we'll go back to the Shiloh. <laughs> Sif Hei. Aniva Mutter the Lav Keshev Hu. A bow is Mutter because it's not a Keshev. Is there, is there a Keshev underneath Aniva or huh? not? Is there a Keshev underneath Aniva? Oh, that's it. That's what it says. Here. So Aniva Mutter the Lav Keshev Hu. Aniva is Mutter because it's not a Keshev. I had my, my sheets lying on my dining room table the Shabbos. And it said a bow is not kosher. So he says, I don't know what to know. Why isn't a bow kosher? <laughs> so I paper it on the table. I said, why isn't a bow kosher? <laughs> That's what it says. I think it's the title of the paper. The bow is not kosher. Anyway, Aniva, Mutad Lav Keshehu. It's not a kesher. Haga, a filuim, Isa Keshehu, Echa the Mata, the Haga by So here it says, even if you make a kesher under it, which is our bows. You make a loop and then you make a bow on top of it. it says the Morgan the Ramor, the Hagim boy hetter. Now what does that mean? What does it mean the Hagim boy hetter? Preferable people can do it. Because they're untying. Yeah, do it so you can not gonna stop them. Right. So so what does it mean? Hagim hetter for what? For because a long period of time, for a short period of time. Un untying you can just with a finger. Yeah, you can untie easily. So here, so with, there's two things you have to realize over here. We're dealing with two things in this seat. One is a mice woman. And one is Kesh Shachayam. And we have to remember, we just saw before the morning of Rome, we're going to ask her, Midrabon, at least, if you have either or. Either it's a Kesh Roman or if it's Shachayama, with, with one of the two it becomes also Midrabon. We go to Chum. So we have to always have in mind, when we go through the Chorinim here now, what are we talking about? There's a Maise Omen and there's a Kesh Shachayam. Sif Hay is telling us that Niva Mutat Lav Keshru. A Niva is mutter because it's not a kesher. Now what does that mean? It's not a mice woman? Or it's not a kesher b'chlal? The main afkimina? The main afkimina is a big afkimina. Yeah. What's an afkimina? If it's not a mice woman but it's a kesher, you have 24 hours. Love kesher who means, it's not even a kesher, it's nothing. Yeah. If it's nothing, you can do it whatever you want. It's not called a kesher shel kayama. Very important the words of Sulchan Aruch. Aniva muter the lav kasher hu. Aniva is muter. It's not a kasher. If it's not a kasher, it's muter. It's not. My yeah. stomach for sure not. It's not even a kasher. Then you could do it for a long period of time. Wonder. And the Rama comes to say that. Oh, says the Rama. I fill them ice a kasher echel lamata. They hang him by hetter. What does they hang him by hetter? That it's not a kasher, or it's not a my stomach. What does the Rama mean? What is it a moment when I have the hagin boy hatter? Even if you make a loop under it and then you make a bow, the hagin boy hatter. The fact that it's still feel that like to me means he's commenting exactly on that machaber. Because machaber is a hemshech of the machaber. Yeah. The machaber says it's a kesher, it's, it's not even a kesher file. Yeah. So then, it's even if you make a loop, it's not even a kesher. Yeah. Don't worry that way. Nobody? I don't think so. <laughs> Sorry. Let's, let's see the. Let's see the Morgan of Ram here. The Hagen by Hetid, the Mordechai comes to the Zer the Isser. The Mordechai writes that it's Osser. The Chemash of the Gemara, Elam can also base on Niva Zer al Zer. Unless you make two bows one on top of the next. The Shulchan Gibbonim calls it the Dafka, Kisha Osser, the Hatid boy by Yoyim. Shari Lass has Kesha Lamato, the Ene Maisa Umin. Shut the Shulchan Gibbonim, he argues in the Mordechai. The Mordechai says, A Kesha, a Gabi Aniva, is also it's a mice woman. The Shulta Gaborim says a kesher al gabi aniva, aniva al gabi kesher. I mean, is not a mice is not a mice woman, but a kesher it is. Mm -hmm. So therefore, I will imhu the kayama also lasa is kesher the matter el aniva. Wow. So here you have that. The more the Chai holds that Aniva Gabi Kesher is called the Kesher Shechayama Maisa Umin even. And the uh, Shulta Gibbayim holds no. It's not considered a Maisa Umin. What is it? It's a Kesher. It's a Kesher. Not a Maisa Umin, but a Kesher it is. If you look at the Taz, it says the same thing. The Taz and Sif Kot in Zion. The more the Chai calls the Bavashla Yasa Kesher Lamatim in Aniva. Klal. You now that I make. A kesher under it. Yeah. Klal. We ask the base. Aniva zeh al gabzev. And nearly the hakta nagi by hetel haynu 
בקשר לאמת להטה ביימוי, שאין חומרוסה אלא מצד שם הוא מייסא אומן. חס וחלילה דברים מפורש. הכל שאלה היא, זה דיסקו למייסא אומן. כמו שחוסר אמור בסעיף א', אבל אין אוסר להטה ביימוי, גם בלולב וחיי ציווי, אוסר אלה אם כן אוסר בית הניבוי זה על גב זה. ולא יקשר כלל כן נראה לי פושט. So basically what we have over here is, is the Mechavah says, Aniva is not a Kesher, it's nothing. Aniva, Gabi Kesher, says the Mogan Ramah, is not a Maise Umin, but a Kesher it is. So there's Aniva on top of Aniva, that's like a general hitter? What do you mean? Yeah, Aniva Gabi Aniva is not even a Kesher, Bechal. It's not even a Kesher, it's Mutter. Well, I'll, get, I'll get to that in one second. So the, the, the Mordechai would hold that you can't tie it at, even for a minute, you can't tie it. The Mordechai yeah. would hold a Niva al Gabi Kesher. You can't tie it at all. Right, it's a Maya Sumit. It's like a double knot. But, but uh, Shilta Gavorim and, and, uh, and the Taz would hold. Right. It's okay to tie it as long as it's not going to... Right, it's a Kesher, but it's not a Maya Sumit. Right. Uh -huh. So we have three levels over here. Right. We have a Kesher, which is nothing according to everybody. A Kesher al Gabi and Niva is a Machlekes, if it's a Maya Sumit, or it's not a Maya Sumit. But a kesher it is. So according to the Mordechai, it's a mice omen, it's like a double knot, mm -hmm. and they can't do a bachal on Shabbos. The Mordechai says that we're noyeg lehetim. Which we're noyeg like the shoulder of your that it's mutter, because mm -hmm. it's not a mice omen. What does it mean it's mutter? Right, right. It's mutter that it's not a mice omen. Listen, now. But the time, the time factor then comes in. Then, right. So it's, a, it's, a, it's a kesher, but it's not a, a mice omen. So it's not a mice omen, then you're, then you're bound to the previous mug and Abram, whether you're going to use one or seven. Correct. Correct. Right. Now, I just want to get into the Mitzis. I don't have a clear answer to this. I never understood this really. What does it mean, Aniva al Gabi Aniva? How do you make a bow on a bow? How do you make a bow on a bow? You take the two ends of the string and make a bow. You loop it, then you make another loop? Yeah. A Who loop cares if the first loop is with the two? It looks like a bow or it's a regular loop? You might ask me that. first Kesher, the first loop on the bottom. I should have brought strings with me here, but. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's fine. Right, you, you go like this. You take, you go one loop like this, right? That's called a kesher. Yeah. They make a bow on top of it. It's a aniva agave kesher. Agave kesher, yeah. What's aniva agave aniva? I go like this, and I loop it once, then I loop it a second time. Why is this not called a kesher? Why isn't that called a kesher? It's the same thing. So here I, I, I it's not like the holding at all. The, the, the whole this is not holding when you go like this also doesn't hold. But the kesher like is a kesher that holds it more for than, some reason, yeah, than a Yeah, For some reason, the Achrayim learned this is called a kesher. This is called a kesher. You don't have to go around again to make a kesher? No, that's a double knot. No, if you do it again, that's a double knot which don't see valves. You can never make a double knot. Uh -huh. Unless they make it loosely, they make it. But this is called a kesher, a bow on top of it, it's called a niva agave kesher. kesher. But if you do like, if you make two bows like this, for some reason, that's called a, a niva agave a niva. So, the mm -hmm. if I tied my shoes that way, I'd be fine on Shabbat. It's yeah, yeah. So it, come out, at all. it comes out, if you go like this, a niva agave a niva, has and no make another a niva, then it's more typically leave for two days. Yes. Nothing yeah. Nothing. But, but if you tie your shoes, don't retie your shoes, right? Zero I'll leave Agabi Kesher. You might say if it's your shoes, you're not tied for more than 24 hours. Taking them off at some point, right? Yeah, but sometimes that doesn't work well and the kid mm -hmm. coming undone. So you tie a double knot because it comes undone when you're walking. You put a double knot undone. You do a Niva, you do a Niva Agabi Kesher, and then a Niva Agabi Kesher. No, Kesher Agabi Kesher. No, not a Kesher. It's two Anivas Agabi Kesher. Yeah, no. It's not going to be a problem either because Aniva is nothing. The second leaf is not a problem. So when you tie your shoes, you make one loop, you make a bow. Some people make another bow on top of that to keep it strong, right? That's an aniva gabi aniva, which is nothing. Aniva gabi aniva gabi kesher. So it should be mutter. Because we all the aniva gabi kesher is mutter, so when do we see the two anivas of gabi kesher should be us? And aniva is called nothing. Yeah. So it's no problem. It shouldn't be a problem. I, I never understood it because that first loop is not a, is not a knot to It doesn't hold at all. It doesn't hold at all. Some people want to say if, if you take, let's say a bag, right? You make one loop and you pull it, it does stay. The bag will stay closed. the nature of the bag. Yeah, it will stay a kesher. So that's called a kesher. Yeah, but when you put the aniva on top of the kesher, the yeah. kesher gets stronger. Kesher gets stronger, but still yeah. motor. 
Because I'm saying, but, but that's where correct. it becomes a kesha. Like correct, correct. It makes the, it makes the kesha strong. Mm-hmm. So on Niva, Gabi Kesha is not called the Maes Omen. So one loop he put through it is definitely not called the Maes Omen. That's for sure we saw, right? Two, a double knot may be Maes Omen. One loop is not called the Maes Omen. If you're doing it for less than 24 hours, it's mutter. One loop more than 24 hours, Chayr should be also. One loop for more than 24 hours is also the Chayr. So it's a you, you said there's a difference between a bag, which kind of holds, versus the shoelaces, which doesn't hold. So it's not, right, so they're, they're not machal. They're not machal. So why was and the Shala with the gartel of the Right, tariff? so that's what comes out. The gartel of the same tariff is with the person speaking about a lot. You know, that's what the person is speaking about. The God of the same return, you do is you loop it once, and, you tie and, it. and then you make a bow. So there, you're living it for how long? More than, more than, more than 24 more hours. Than so that's all the person is speaking about. Less than seven <laughs> days. Though. Why? Because you'll at least take it on next Shabbos, no? Okay, so that's seven no, days. No, but three no. days. If you have three days, three days. Three days, but it's more than 24 hours. Yeah, more than 24 hours. But you can hold by uh, the next Shabbos. Seven days. Yeah, yeah, so that's the right. So here you have, the, the, when the person speaking about it... Three Sefer Torahs, then you take one... But the person speaking about a lot is the bows of the Sefer Torah. And we could use, from there, we could go to other things also. And all the person say, that you make one one loop in the Sefer Torah, that's, that's not a Maisa Umin. And therefore, it's okay. A double, a bow on top of it could be a problem. But the, the problem is that you're leaving it for more than for more than uh, 24 hours. So what time is the place came? What's up? Yeah, but if you're doing a bow over a application, then there's no problem. Talk about standard. That's the second place. What they say is the makel, the tzarich mitzvah, you can be makel with this bialacha. The bialacha before says that uh, we can be makel at some times we can make it for up to seven days. So the person coming out that we saw before the tzarich mitzvah, you can do a kasher even for more than for more than a, more than a, more than a, the, fir- the first level, not la uh-huh. the middle level. So therefore, makel over here in a mitzvah, you allow to make a bow on top of the loop, and even though it may last more than 24 hours. This is one of the Lutzaras. Yeah, this is one of the Lutzaras of Mekel. Correct. Yes. That's one of the Lutzaras of Mekel, and therefore you can do it for more than 24 hours. What I don't understand this, now I'm thinking, I have to check into this, that the person will all say to make it one thing is okay. Why is that okay? It's also more than 24 hours. That's, that's, that's one cash out. Because it will open. One ca- it's no, because they, 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 they say you shouldn't yeah. even do the one. They say you should tuck it in. Wait, well, back it and then tuck it in. Like, no, the they say you make, make one loop and then tuck it in. What's that one loop? The one loop is no, a no. catch it. It's not a mice omen. But you're doing it for more. You're doing it for more than 24 hours. <laughs> so I'm not sure why they why they was mutter. It's a single knot. That's single knot. It's, it's mutter for the same day. Mm-hmm. Not for more than 24 hours. Mm. It's not a mice omen. Not a mice omen. It's mutter for that day. So Aniva al Gabe. Aniva al Gabe Kesha should be the same thing. Same, you know, the same halacha. Same halacha it should be. So, so, so you, you should do a bow that would get around it. I mean, like if you yeah, but how do you do a bow? A, a double bow. Yeah, yeah you do a double yeah. bow, then you get around it. I I, I thought the eighth. Uh, you're saying that they that that it's it's the whole make, problem that, was that you're making a single yeah. knot. That you shouldn't make the bow. The, the, the whole shot was the bow on top of the kesher. I, I didn't. I, Why was I it the kesher itself see, a problem? I thought the the shi, the, 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 the shila and the eitzah was don't. Neither of them are are are. are so don't uh, make it. You saying don't make a. That would have been the simple solution. Just leave it as a, as a as a single. As so you say you say they said don't even make one. No, don't loop. make one. Just tie it around and, and tuck, then it in. tuck it. So maybe that's what it is. I have to check again. Yeah, because that would make more the, sense. Right. That would that's make more sense because if, if you're making that one. That one catcher. He brings this down. And he, oh, he, he said that what? Yeah, he said. He said. He just talked it. Not, not even one loop. I'll, I'll see exactly if he said, but he, he clearly yeah. talks about the same. Because perhaps one loop, loop should be also, also according to this. One loop should be also, also according to this because it's a catcher. Mm-hmm. If it's more than 24 hours, it's a problem. So again, shoes on Shabbos. There should be no problem to make a double and on top of a catcher. Correct. Because it's doing less than 24 hours, and it's not a mice omen. Or to one time one. Or to untie it, yeah. But if you want to open up a bag that was lying in the cabinet, which you closed up, you want to open that up, there could be more of a problem. Even if you want to use the hetra of the bir halacha more than seven days, right? 
So a safe retiree, you have to be careful right. in which situation you do. Let's, right. say, let's say you have like an ashram where there's a different there's course. A, course right, and you haven't used it. Course it. Course safe right. And, and then Shabbos Rosh Correct. Rosh that'll be a problem. And then you have to tell them right. whoever's doing it, we have a problem here. They have to do the here. same safe retiree. Yeah. Or shuls where they read from a store, they read from a club. Right, and the chaf comes out to the yeah. Yeah. more than a week. Yeah, that would yeah. be more than seven days, yeah. it would be hard to be matter it. Yeah. Only up to seven days could be matter it. Uh-huh. But that's all for Turk mitzvah, for a safe return. Uh-huh. How about your packaging in your house, you close a bag, you loop it once, according to this, should come out, if you did it Tuesday, and you want to open it up on Shabbos, it should be a problem. Uh-huh. So it should come out. Well, could you say, let's say, that you're taking it out on Shabbos to the bagels to thaw for something like that? So Therefore, what? It's, it's, it's a Tzarek Mitzvah. So uh, food to Shabbos. Have you spoken about that? What's called Tzarek Mitzvah? Yeah. Tzarek to the yeah. Shabbos. Yeah, we said you're he says, he, he, All he says is Makam HaTzarek. He doesn't, the yeah. doesn't say what kind of Tzarek yeah. we're talking yeah, yeah. about here. I don't have an answer for it. I mean, so why, why would you take it out if there's no tzarach? There's always yeah. going to be a tzarach. Anytime you do a shop, it's a tzarach. You're hungry. <laughs> yeah, that's a tzarach. First of all, it's called a tzarach. I don't, ha- I don't have an answer to this question because if you look around the place, they're all mashma that one, one loop is very considered a kesher, right. and it could be a problem. Is, is, is considered a kesher, and it could be a problem if it's more than 24 hours. If that's the case, if it's considered a kesher, and more than 24 hours is a problem, then what do we do with all our packages that we close up? So, what's, is there a difference? So no, then there's that? no one even any safe at all to be made even during right, the week so because we got to untie it on the Shabbos. Right, that's why today they changed it. They have uh, all the Velcros and the uh, Ziplocs, zip whatever they have. Yeah, those, those little plastic things that just clip on, those are the right? What is the little, those little flat plastic things that tie on bags? The, the, the the bags. The, oh, oh, that's not a problem. Yeah, twist time could be a problem. Twist time could be a problem. Yeah, problem. yeah. twist time could be a problem. Yeah. yeah. But the safe hotel, we had, they had the solution the old days, that kind of thing. Because we used to have a very long. Yeah, the, thing. but the yakis. And the they never tied it. The yakis. Just to a vi- wrap, 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 wrap it wrap around. That's where the vimple comes from. The vimple is just wrapped around, they tuck it in. Yeah. Uh-huh. There's yeah, no problem. That's where the yakis have a vimple. So they have a problem with Kesha. Right. Is there a difference between the, let's say, two examples? One would be uh, a loaf of bread, right? Right. Where you tie it because there's only one, you know, you're taking the pole bag, you're tying it on itself, versus right, a. That's uneven. Versus. Tie uh, on itself, if you tie it on itself without taking two ends and, ro- lo- and, and looping it. You take the whole thing and you like just pull a. Uh, so we learned that. That's uneven. That's, 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 that's a trombone. No, but you that's said uneven. That's uneven. We said that on a string that that's a bigger problem. Yeah. Like if you take a, the. Yeah, but the it's one. No, you're making that. Right. But no, that you're that making that. You're you making that not No, not that. So you can do it. You loop it. Don't make it not. You take you take the whole bag, right? Right. Do you ever have a bag here? No. You take the whole bag, right? And you loop it through and you pull it up. Like that, you're right. It's called a knot. That's a knot. No? Yeah, but what you can do is you can make, you don't have to, make you could bow it. Yeah. Uh, make a you bow it. Make a slip knot. Uh-huh. A slip knot, right. Yeah. Make a slip knot. A slip knot, you pull yeah. it out, and that opens. Okay. A slip knot so, is much. But, but, so, but making a single knot on a low. No, thread that's worse. That's worse. Because it's on a single Yeah, of course, so it's worse. Single, even if it's a single knot, that would be a, a correct, problem. Correct, correct. That's worse. So, like, so in the market, in the market before. That's a worse single, uh, uh, yeah. Thing. That's yeah. worse than making a loop. And that's tighter. Yeah, that's right. much tighter. And then a, just a Sobeys bag, which has, you know, a challah inside. Right, and and you, you tie the two, one, just a single knot. A single knot. You keep it in the fridge. Undoing that, what is that? I don't know. It should, it should cover that. That's a problem. If you do it for more than 24 hours, it should be a problem. My son, the Vinayal is not the way. Is that, I, I don't know. The Vinayal is not the way. People do close up bags. The question is if closing up a bag is any din kesha because it's all right, it's not meant to last. I'm sure they're placing it on a maker. I can't imagine not. You look around, in the, you look around in, the, in the halacha, it's very hard to be make even on one loop. How to make it? It's a, the person that they speak about. It, they say aniva gabi kesher means one loop. So you see, that's called a kesher. You see, that's called a kesher. If it's called a kesher, you make one loop. It's more than 24 hours. So the the what does what what the aniva the, uh, help you, or or what is it? What is? How does it make it worse aniva, or better? No, it doesn't make it worse or better. Aniva gabi kesher. No. If you're going to say that a kesher is usher, right. then why does aniva gabi kesher become a question? Why why would it be? In other words, if, if no, that a, a kesher is usher. If you say that a kesher, a single knot, is right. usher, 
then what is the whole discussion of a, of a uh, Niva al Kesher? Like what's, what's the whole discussion? So it must be that the single knot I mean, is nothing. How do we understand it? Right. A perfect. single knot is a problem? It's just a half knot. The first time, the, the first time I learned, I learned, uh, I learned, I learned the simon, I came out that a single line is nothing, and it's mutter doesn't hold. There's no problems. Right, and, and the chori, that's the way it, yeah. it seems. But to right, be. See, look and then the Yiddish comes out uh, uh, of a nival gabi kesher. Right. Now you want to make it. Right. It's a nival gabi kesher. It's a nival gabi kesher. Right. And then what's the, and then how do you, if you learn like that, then how do you understand the Rama, like Rashi and, uh, and, and, uh, the mother what? The, that, that, no, we don't go by the Rambam of Maisa Ulmin. No, you're right. looking just at the time, that, how it's right. timed. What kind of a knot is that that we're talking about? It's not a single knot. Why not? Very what the Rebbe just said is that the first time we learned it, you learned it. Yeah, yeah. He, but, but, but so the what, question, what's called the knot? So what is this? What is the what, discussion? What is, is yeah, it? I don't know. That'll be the question. That's why I, I, I got stuck. You know, I want, at one point, at one side, you see that a loop is called a knot. Right. And then there's a niva, there's a kesha, a gabi kesha, which is double knot. So it's much more that a one knot is a, is a kesha. A niva, a gabi kesha, a niva, a kesha, a gabi kesha becomes a maisa umid. One loop is a regular kesha, not a maisa umid, but it's a regular, it's considered a kesha. You do see that. And over here, by niva gabi kesha, it's mashma. The only problem is because that niva gabi kesha. But the kesha itself wouldn't be a problem. That's not the way, because the person is mashma, but that niva itself, the, the kesha itself will be a problem. So it's okay. I don't have. Confused. Yeah, I don't have. I don't, I don't, no. It's never being confused. We don't understand something. But if you look in the place game, they all say one loop is considered a kesha. Is they all come out and one loop is considered a kesha. I'm not saying I understand why it is that way, but they all come out and one loop is considered a kesha. But if that would be the case, then I don't know how a person would be able to get through a Shabbos without. Yeah, it's a problem. I, I don't have an an answer for that. Like I unless mean, I make unless I slip you that. have you have you have uh, I don't know an example we talked about this morning. You left popcorn from last Shabbos. Yeah. And you and you and you put a bow around. Right. It. So make a slip knot. If, it, if, it, if it's a, 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 it's an evil gabi kesher. Why isn't a slip knot a, a kesher uma? A slip no a slip knot is not because a slip knot the chiluk to make it the place to make it is if it's a knot. Pull a string. If you it, pull one it string. Just pull it and opens up. Is that called a kesher? Here by, by a regular knot. You pull the string and make it tighter. It's interesting because some mice, the woman, they they uh, very strong. Yet there's a way to um, right slip knot. Right. Correct. That's correct. Correct. Simply with slip correct. knot. You correct. Slip knot in a slip knot. Yeah. I mean. The fine slip knots are more of a mice omen than a regular knot. Yeah. yeah. I, think the, I think the problem <laughs> is the, pro <laughs> the problem is that we you know you, 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 this kesher that we're doing yeah. is yeah. not a lasting kesher. <laughs> we're not starting with it. Right. It's not a kayam. That's right. That's so again, it's not what we're saying. But you're saying the kayam is the fine knots. But you're saying the fine knots. Don't fear. Consider that. No, but if you do a bag, you take a bag and you close it, right? It's just fine. It's not kayam. It stays. It's a good one. It stays closed. The bag stays closed. If you turn it over, it will. Everything will fall out. But the uh, you're doing it for an extended period of time. It doesn't matter how strong right, it is. Right, right, right. It's a period of time. It's right, it stays closed. Mice of the price was, you see that a regular one one loop is considered a cash. I don't know what to say. Maybe this is more confusing than not by not. <laughs> <laughs> not by not. The double knot. <laughs> no, the confusing part is the Matisse is hard to understand. The Mitzvah is hard to understand. It. You make one loop, it's nothing. Nothing happens. And so the price of Mashmur that it's considered a kesha. And in order to be matterit, we have to say it's not a kesha b'chal. It's like an aniva. In order to be matter for more so than 24 aniva, hours, aniva is mutter. Aniva is something that's mutter. It's not considered a kesha. That's why I made Agdom and the Sif. Aniva mutter the love kesha. Aniva is not considered a kesha. But our loops. A loop is considered a kesher. Once it's considered a kesher, you run into problems. How long are you doing it for? By the way, someone find me a place that says that our knots, whatever, uh, one loop is not considered a kesher of a chlal, it has a din like a niva, that'd be great. I haven't, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. <laughs> a lot of people are about to make on the uh, on even. I can I can say that. You said it. Okay, that'll be homework for over the summer.
They speak about the ties also, right? The Tibetan tie in China. A tie, uh, Neck tie. Right? Did we see already last week that it's okay? Right, so a neck tie, the reason why they say it's mutter is because it has a bit like an uneven. Why? Because when you pull it, it falls apart. Yeah. Right. When you pull it, it falls apart. Well, that's that's the same thing that happens with one single yeah, knot. Yeah, well, you pull it, it falls yeah, apart you, also. If, you turn if, I show you, if I show you the two, sing, uh, two, two knots that I make, and only one pull and it will come out, and it's a tie. It's a regular tie, you can uh, tighten it, but I will show you to you that if you just pull it on one side, well, it will just come out. And I'm not sure. So where is the, where is sure. the, where is the, the border? Where is the I don't know. I don't know. But that's called dress. No, and no, I would, I would, no, I, no, my, my gut I feeling is to be made on all these it's one loops. Sure. Because that is, it's nothing. No, it's not but if you look around the post script, they're not, they're not making it. Because well, you, you can't read the menu. You can't read this without coming out that way. Yeah, yeah. You, you in Israel, complication means that the yeah, one, 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 one thing. Yeah, and, and, and cash application also means yeah. So a double knot means one. The how you read that locket, it comes out that one loop is already called the cash. Except that you have a Nivar Gabi kesher, and there would not be a need for discussion of a Nivar Gabi kesher. No, there is. If you if you're learning that, no, the yeah. Yeah. it's coming to Mefki. The, the what's called again? The Mordechai. The Mordechai is called the Ma'aseh Umim. Right. So it's the Mordech is telling us the Noyigan had to be called. It's not a Ma'aseh Umim. We hold it's not a Ma'aseh Umim. But what else? So the a, a cash is different than a mice woman. One cash is different. I but it's already also according to the Ramon. No, not for a uh, long time. We take the whole no, of it. No, it's not also. If it's good for 24 hours, it's not motor. It's, it's motor. It's not also. A regular cash of one cash for 24 hours is motor. It's just right? longer than 24 hours. It's longer than 24 hours. So there says the Ramon. A single. A single knot, one loop, right. is motor for less than 24 hours. Our whole problem here yeah. now is if it's more than 24 hours. But if you're doing less than 24 hours, it's mutter. It's but not a mice legamri. omen. Mutter legamri. Mutter legamri. Says the Ramah. One to seven is the Durabonon. Correct. And then, and then more than seven is the carbon Chattis. If it's a mice omen only. They're both. Mice omen and... That's only according to the Ramah. Oh, right. right. According to Rashi, it's Chattis right Correct. 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 So, if you do one cash air, it's mutter on Chavez to do it within 24 hours. Or maybe seven days, whatever the sheet is on. Says there more, a niva gabe kesher noyeg in the hokal that it's not a mice woman. Says the mock of Ram and the Taz, that's about it. Not a mice woman, but a kesher is. And the hag of the hokal is that we don't go with the Mordechai that it's a mice woman. And that would make it us even for the one day. Correct. According to the Mordechai, niva gabe kesher is a mice woman, it's also been for 10 minutes. Okay. So see what see of. Koshim chevel b'fnei abahemo. The latter tie is shooting in front of an animal. The shvil shaloi teitzei that shouldn't go out. A fulu the base rosh and pesach even at two ends of the door. For the cheshina shem yatir roish ve'echad we see end of the rosham ve'niach roish asheni kosher. Here the chashash is that maybe you can tie two ends to the door. Maybe you leave one end. It, you'll open up one end to let the animal out, but you're going to leave the other end tied for, for a week, two weeks. So it's Kesh Shakayama. We're not Kesh, you're going to leave the string there. Says the, says the Morgan of Rom, Tazayim, Vishnei Rosh HaPesach, Vuadim, Vibes Chavolim, Zudamayim, and the Zub, Vula Amina, the Mabatal, the Echad, you'll leave one day, the Pomen Matel, Zeh, Pomen Zeh, and the Mabatal, Rosh Echad, the Philip, the Chavol Echad, also. A, whatever the Mitzvah was in those days, they would tie one string or two strings on the doorway, and the, we're not chayshish. You end up leaving it there, and it would come We're not chayshish. Whatever the reasons were. Same thing. I mean, practically, to us, it's not gay. If you tie something and there's a chashash, you leave it tied for more than 24 hours, then you shouldn't do it. Yeah. If it's something that's meant to do or undo constantly, then it's fine. But some it's meant to be for a long time, or a lot of times you leave it for a long time, then it's awesome. In these kinds of situations, though, when, you, when it comes time to untie it, to let the animal go, say, right. you should untie both. Yes, you have to untie both, otherwise <coughs> you're in trouble. Yeah, you're you're leaving right. it for a long time. Right. Yeah. The point is, it's much to do it like that. Because you're going to untie both of them. You're going to untie both. Correct. You have to worry that you might forget and only untie one. Correct. Yeah. 
I say the same thing, when someone ties his shoes, right? And some people, they tie their shoes loose and they slip in and out. Right. With, the, with the shoes tied. Mm -hmm. Such a person, if he's going to tie his shoe, it's a problem, he's going to leave it for a long time. Even though most people tie their shoes and they untie this within 24 hours. But such a person, he should not do it. Because he may end up leaving it for a long time. Yeah, little kids all the time. Yeah. 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 It's still good, yeah. So that's it. We came tough. up with a solution. We said that there should be a new meaning that before Borfu, right, on Marav, everybody did brush to get a clock. I was untie their shoes. I was untie their shoes. This way it's all the holes. We, st we, st we said we'd start. I'll tell you why you can't start that many. Because. It was hand. Because, no, because in Allah, the Shiloh, like this, like this year, Tishaba falls out of Shabbos. Right, so the Shah won't take off his shoes. So the Allah says. The Chazan verse. The Chazan everyone should take off their shoes before Barakho. Right. You yeah. can't say untie shoes. My thing is Tishaba. <laughs> 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 okay. You can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they can't have the problem, they don't tie their shoes. Yeah, a tying shoe is not really a problem. I mean, most people, you know, tie and untie their shoes and they put them on. Unless you're, unless you're from a certain cat of, of Goyim that enjoy leaving their shoes uh, loose. I don't want to say who they are, but I can't say it on the thing, but... <laughs> I mean, the first time I was on a bus once, and there was someone sitting across from me, and he was making fun of me and my brother saying, I couldn't figure out what he's making fun of. He's pulling his shoelaces, and I thought Chab was making fun of us that we tie our shoelaces tight. <laughs> the guy was making fun of us that we tie our shoelaces tight. And they all sitting there with their shoelaces loose, you know, it's opening, slip in and out. So a level that, uh, <laughs> we have to figure out what a person made fun of you that they're so low, <laughs> you can't figure out what they're making fun of you, you know, never they're very low. <laughs> yeah, Steve Zayn, Metalto le Chevel shall guard you. Now, Metalto le Chevel, the string of a guard, which is a weaver, Pirish Eirig, the Kaishre, but obviously the Parah, to tie it to the obvious is the truck. With all the Parah, but the Cheshire Shemayati, Raisha Echad, the Indian Cheshire Nikayim. You're not Cheshish. Why? Because the Chevel shall guard is. Something you don't leave there, you use it for the Eirik. A regular Chavel, you can't do it because the Chavel is meant to leaving it there. And here we don't make a Gzeira, Chavel the Gardi, or to Chavel the Alma. Says the Rabbi Avram, why not? Yitzayi, but the Gazrina, or to Chavel the Alma, from which Chazak Siv Dalit, to Hacha Bapara, a Philu, Chavel the Alma, the Shri Akshri Eishak Yamma. By a para, even a chevel the alma, it's not shchiach that you should leave it there. So therefore, we didn't make a gzera chevel the gardi auto chevel the alma. But also, the gardi me it's a usable. Uh, yeah, the first thing you may end up leaving it there. We're not making gzera. The honey mill in the kasher of avos of a para, avam high kasher of avos, the rights of the kasher of a para. If it was tied on one, or high kasher of a para, the rights of the kasher of avos, mut of a chol chevel. Why? Because once it's tied to one place. You're just tying it to the second place, so we assume you're going to untie the place that you're tying it now. The original thing that was tied already, then you're going to leave it there. To set the place that you're tying it to now, that's the place you're going to untie when you're done. Says the Morgan Avram, the Al Maloy, the Oyla Mania Christ Echad Kasher. Ava the Mahaya Kasher, the Sabbath, the Ayin, fine. Mutter bechal chevel the stomach. I said I cast the kvav and nichei la olam kasher. The one that you had already is the one you leave tied. So basically, this is a shad of Matthias of exactly when there's a chash, you may leave it tied for a long time. So we have a string that's attached to one thing, and you tie and untie it to. Let's say you have a, someone has a dog, right? And they tie one end to, to tie the dog down, but the side that's attached to the dog, usually you leave it there for a long time, so the opposite side, there's no kshash, you can leave it shakayam. If you want to attach both sides in Shabbos, and the side that's attached to the dog, you can leave for a long time, there already it's a kshash, then you can't do it. Says the Morgan Avram, all different types of kshashim, and yet we have for all the types of kshashim, I am sham, I am simtah, I am nechas, According to the Mount Amar, 
Lulav needs Eget, that means you have to tie the four million, the three million together. Also, the Oydadei B'yamtif. You now let tie on Yamtif, Kivin, the Belavi Hachi, the Miskashin, Misakin Mona. So here's a new problem. What Gavram says, even though it's not a Kesh Shekel Yama, let's say you get on tie it. Right? But still, there's another issue of Misak and Mona. Till now, the Abba Minim were in Kasher. Now, when you're tying it together, it becomes Kasher. <coughs> it becomes Mutter. So therefore, it's called Misak and Mona. Therefore, you now tie it on Yom Tif. You have to be very macabre to make sure you tie your Abba Minim together before Yom Tif. Mahay Taima also literally sits with Peshabbos, a fill of the Kricha Bavad without a tie. I mean, why? Because it's Mesak and Mana. Till now you couldn't wear the, the baguette, and now you could wear the baguette. It's a new problem over here, even though there's no issue of a kasher, then it's issue of Mesak and Mana. Me, after keeping the kasher, Elian Sagar and the Raisa, the Choshan and Krikas, any aluminum, after the Sharlasa Krikas. If you had one kasher, you want to make only the Krikas, it could be its mutter, since me, the Raisa, your baguette is already kosher. Well, I need to make a bow. Okay. Says the Very important Allah here also. Any kesher that sometimes when you make it you leave it forever. Even though when you made it. You didn't have a mind to leave it there, you had a mind to untie it within uh, and within 24 hours. Also, that cash is also. Hey, look up. So, what does it go by? It goes by your intention? We, because before we said that it's not your intention. Let's say you have intention for it to be one day. Right. We're that was the right. And now it's forgotten. Right? You, you, you were going to undo it. <coughs> but usually, so, so here the look is there's three levels here. So the way Allah in the beginning of the Simon says, a kesha that's meant to be tied to Elam, and you say, you know what, I'm just tying it now for 24 hours, awesome. Because it's a kesha that's meant to be tied to Elam. Then you have a kesha because, uh, that's shame, not meant to be tied to Elam. It's same kesha. Yeah, same yeah, kesha. That's right. right. It's called a kesha Chayam. But if you have a kesha that sometimes you leave it to Elam, sometimes not, so then if I have a mind not to leave it to Elam, it should be mutter. Because I'm not doing a Elam. Says the Magen Avram, so it's awesome. Why? Because with Chayshish you may end up leaving a Laila. That's why it's awesome. Hilchach also looks at the Tzuris and Mechnesayim. So if Amem Nimlach Mavat Hashem Laila, actually a bowler till he gets worn out the baget. Therefore, it's also to tie it on Shabbos. All right. So uh, it seems like, let's say, see, like the only issue is here, the only zero here is if it's a kesher that you leave the oil on. That's just a kesher you never leave the oil on. But sometimes you leave it for a longer period of time, and I have a mind not to leave it for a longer period of time, that's mutter. Because it's a zero to zero. It's only a kesher that people leave it the oil on, and I want to do it, sometimes leave it the oil on, I want to do it now only for 24 hours, less than 24 hours. Then we make Xavier and it's awesome. What's an example of that? That why you leave for a long period of time? Well, say for terror, let's say time, right? It's this. Yeah, well, it's this, right? It's this is Lailam. It's this is Or packaging. Right? People close up a package, they can leave it for a long they leave for two weeks before they open it again. So there I have a mind to close it and open it for twenty four hours. There is no Xavier. Because it's never meant to it's always meant to reopen. Anything that's meant to reopen, then there's no zero if you have a mind to do it for a short period of time. If it's meant to reopen within a specific... So that goes no, back meant to, our, to our... Meant to, our to reopen Bechlal. He's talking about a case where it's meant to stay in the oil, in the Ba'at the So maybe that's the hatcher. So let's say a single... Let's say back to our, 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 yeah, but our, our single knot that you correct. have food in. But it's meant to be reopened at some point. The bag is not... So therefore finished. you're allowed to do it if you have a mind to do it for 24 hours. But how about if I have a mind to close it for more than 24 hours? Or it's already closed for more than 24 that, hours. That header doesn't apply? No, no you, this you is only header if you do it yeah. within 24 hours. If I have a mind to do it for only 20, within 24 hours, then it's more that I don't make a gazera that a lot of people leave it for two days or three days. 
you don't make that gzeira as long as I have a mind to undo it in 24 hours mm -hmm. but if I have a mind to live in more than 24 hours or I tie it on Tuesday so the fact that it will be reopened is, right. is not enough of a no, answer. no, because if, if you reopen it within the after 24 hours it's a problem that's called the Kesha, the in between Kayama. Okay, so you're back to the. Back to, yeah, back to our problem. If, you, if, if you're um, the last knot of your tzitzis, it comes a little bit loose on Shabbos. Can you get a little bit loose? Let's, let's pull it close it's because it's, it's, it opens up anyway. It loosens, yeah. it opens. It's not price of a bakel. You go ahead and do it. It doesn't make a difference. Not. That's just, yeah. yeah, but it's, but it's, 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 it's it. opening up anyway. Yeah. It, keep, it keeps it opening up, but it's not really called closed. It all loosens by itself. Even though it's a... Even though it's a cash of cash, yeah. yeah. Rebbe mentioned once, and I don't know if he said that, he, that you shouldn't do the uh, the end of the knot of a single tzitzis. Did we explain why? Right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah, it's, it's a lochah. One said that you were going to say that. Yeah, it's a lochah. It, it Everybody does that. It seems like even the mudra is a sperm. No, they don't make a knot at the end. They don't come with the no, knot at the end? No, they don't come with the knot at the end. No. Right, so where at at the end. I mean, people do. People do. When, they, when, 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 when it opens yes. up, they make a knot at the end. But Allah says they shouldn't do it because we have a certain amount of knots we have on our tzitzis. It's called the Kayyum, no? The yeah, that's Shabbos. Yeah. No, that's not Shabbos. It's Shabbos even during the week. Days. Yeah, because you have a certain amount of knots on our tzitzis and they're supposed to end up a tiring mitzvah, right? That's right. the... Right. Mm -hmm. You make extra ones, so you ruin the whole amount. Oh, yeah. You, you, yeah, you ruin the whole cheshman. How many knots you have on your tzitzis? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's a lot of knots on tzitzis. Uh, if you want me, I'll show it to you. Okay. Show it now. Okay, uh, we're going to have a little break now. And it's modern.